Hi there, my name is Daphne. Thank you very much for sending in your two very interesting essays for correction. Uh, it would be great to know when you're doing your IELTS exam, if you've done it already, and uh, what grade you have got in the past, and um, obviously what you're aiming for. And that can help me uh, if you have any future corrections. Okay, so this is an interesting question. Uh, sport, more attention on men's sport than women's sport. Okay, more attention, this is an important word. What are the reasons? And uh, you need to give your opinion. Now, you say here you give me your opinion, I believe. Um, but I would like to see that reinforced at the end. So your final paragraph, I would like to see have your opinion again. So as you're writing, keep checking that you are answering the question. Keep looking back at this. So gender disparity, excellent. Your vocabulary is fantastic. Really, really impressive. Very high level vocab here. All the way through, both of them. Gender disparity in sports has always been the subject of debate. Now, you can't always be the subject and for over a century. So it's either always been the subject or has been. So I would take out that. Uh, it's been the subject of debate for over a century. Indubitably, we, I mean, yes, it exists, but we don't use it very much. So, um, we would more like to use undoubtedly. It's important to sound natural as well. Undoubtedly, society has shown absolute zeal. Um, absolute zeal, again, zeal, we don't use that very often. I'm going to say enormous enthusiasm for men's sports as compared to women's sports. I believe, keep going, you don't need a comma. This is mainly due to male dominance and the dearth of resources for female sports, absolutely. This trend can make some negative consequences for society, just say for society, which will be outlined or which I will outline in this essay. Okay, would be outlined doesn't work. So I will outline or will be outlined passive. Okay, first and foremost, uh, the most plausible reason for this is the existence. So just uh, as I say the corrections, maybe when you rewrite it, so I would suggest you rewrite little sentences with the corrections in it and then you have a, a good copy is the existence of the patriarchal system in many cultures. In other words, males tends to dominate women, yes. So either male and female or men and women in terms of power, money, education, sports. This image of, of females, plural, in such restricted society is confined to housework and raising children, yeah. Consequently, a majority of females do not have the opportunity, we, get is a bit informal, I say have an opportunity to express themselves on the sports field. Okay, just a few little prepositions there, but it basically it reads very well. For instance, in Saudi Arabia and other Muslim countries, sorry, Saudi Arabia and other Muslim countries have forbidden women, the participation, participation, all right, participation of women in athletics for cultural and religious reasons. Therefore, women cannot get their fame, maybe, um, Maybe instead you could say, cannot achieve their full potential. Yeah, that might be better in society. Okay, it's a very, very good point and you make it very well. It's a sensitive point, isn't it? But I think you've handled that very, very nicely. Okay, so another crucial reason behind the reduced focus. Um, this girls' less popularity is tricky. Reduced focus on girls' sport or girls' athletics, you could say for a change, um, is the lack of infrastructure. So if we say girls' athletics, we can just move that, take out that bit. Is the lack of infrastructural facilities for women to reveal their talent? Yes. Uh, now, what do we mean by that? Do we mean uh, coaches? Uh, if, I mean, we're talking physical money, or are we talking literally the, sort of the coaches, the sports field, the opportunities? It might be worth developing that um, uh, infrastructural facilities there, such as, yeah? So I would add a little bit in here. Then this carries on okay. In fact, the government allocates more. Which government? Are we in still in India? So tell me. Uh, more funds and resources on male sports as opposed to female sports. Uh, it's a, Many governments, you'd have to say that if you're not, don't want a specific government. In India, for example, grade A female cricketer, Z with an S, earn less in contrast to their male counterparts. Maybe how can we say 20% less, 30% less? Give me a number here. Let's make it, uh, uh, doesn't matter if it's not true, but make it more meaningful, uh, which engenders, engenders gender inequality, which enhances, increases gender inequality, discontent, and even Yes, quitting the games even forces people to leave the games. 
Hence, males continually um, have the chance to outshine. Okay, uh, I don't think you need this because you're already quite heavy on your word count. The guideline for the word count is 250. So 280 words is okay. 300 maximum, but I don't think you'd have time to write more than that in the uh, exam situation. So this paragraph is fine, but I don't think you need it. But coming around here, in conclusion, the issue of gender discrepancy is quite intricate and stems, present simple, from male supremacy. Um, yes, dominating male supremacy and um, authorities lack of funding for female support facilities. Um, now, it says your opinion. So is it a positive or a negative development? You haven't really addressed whether it's a positive or negative development. So quickly in here, you need to do that. Um, uh, I believe that this is uh, a negative development because many sports women in other countries around the world have shown how much they can contribute. Uh, so you want to say they can contribute in terms of motivation for younger people. They can contribute to uh, just give a lovely, a really good positive impression of their country and the opportunities that are available to both sexes in the, in the country. So there's a little bit missing here in terms of task achievement, which is answering both sides of the question. So you develop this, but and you develop that, but you haven't told me that, okay? In your opinion, that is super important. So just go over and check this and add in a few more sentences. Doesn't matter if you put them in here, but you need to put them in, okay? Uh, this one, but otherwise, just to sorry, finish on that one. Um, it's a very, very nice essay. I'm very impressed by your Lexis. So vocabulary, excellent. Grammar looks really strong here. You're using lots of nice variety in there as well. Good structures in your grammar. The layout is overall pretty good. Uh, just a little bit too long maybe and just organization of a few little sections. Um, but it's looking strong. Well done. Uh, this is about space exploration. Interesting, isn't it? Such a waste. Ah, you can't. Start with this. Throughout the years, there has been an increase in people against, okay, uh, there has been increasingly divided opinion uh, as to whether the idea of space research is a waste of time or money or not. Okay, so just slightly rework that. Some proponents argue, so I don't think you need however, I will start with this. Some proponents argue that it is crucial to learn about the universe as it could, I would go uh, quite a lot here, you say can, I would use could. It is more uh, better academic language, so it's hedging. So we're standing back from making a general statement. Save humans and the earth from catastrophic events. In my opinion, the latter, uh, L-A-T-T-E-R, we need, that's later, that's latter. The latter view is more prudent in order to address global challenges, and this essay will examine both points. Yeah, uh, very nice. Uh, maybe you could have real, um, instead of real life, from India and... Um, scientific research. Just make that a bit more um, substantial. On one hand, universal research requires a hefty amount of money. Yeah, hefty is a little bit informal. It's a good word, but it's a bit informal here. So an enormous or a staggering amount of money, which could be better invested to solve critical problems in already persisting on Earth. Uh, for example, in, oh no, in other words, okay, many nations are struggling with, yes, this is really, really good. A very relevant uh, example and uh, so true. For instance, in India, 33% of the population comprises uh, you know, the destitute, or you should have to say uh, destitute, uh, sorry, um, uh, destitute people, destitute citizens. Uh, I mean, we use it like the destitute. Um, so you'd have to say the poor and destitute would be better to explain it. And governments are doing nothing to fulfill the basic needs of these citizens. So it's these people, yeah? In contrast, more resources have been allocated on, yeah. And more resources are con continuously, let's emphasize that, being allocated on aerospace and technology. Therefore, it's important to prioritize the primary needs. Yeah, absolutely right. Very good paragraph, very well argued, excellent language again, and uh, that reads really, really well. On the other hand, Planetary explanation, yeah, very good way of not repeating space. Your use of paraphrase is really good. I'm very impressed by that. It's definitely associated, yeah, with certain advantages which are worth mentioning. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, advantages that are worth mentioning or which are 
uh, extremely relevant in today's world or something like that. And worth mentioning might be a little bit informal. First and foremost, it creates new opportunities for tackling worldwide challenges. Yes. The issue of overpopulation, for example, could be solved good by finding new planets where all essential elements would be available for human survival. Yes. Wow. Would you like to go live there? Also, it has engendered several uh, scientific discoveries such as, yeah, absolutely. It's evident that human activity in space has produced societal benefits. Yeah, it's also um, opportunities for employment, isn't it? Uh, opportunities for scientific research, for employment, um, societal benefits, um, in addition to financial and economic or something like that. You could just boost that a little bit there. So in conclusion, although people are divided on their opinions, whether universal research should be conducted or is worthless, I believe, yes, good, it should be promoted um, as it has produced an impressive record of benefits to humanity and will continue to do so in the future. So when you're making your prediction at the end, give me something a little in the future as well, okay? Uh, but fantastic essays, really, really impressive. Um, you've got a little bit of work to do just in terms of tidying up the organization maybe and just some of the sentences um but overall i think these are really really good and um thank you well done